morning, Calvary Baptist Church, and for those who are watching this online, for today's short devotional, we are going to be talking about giving. If you want to open your Bibles up, we are going to be going to Matthew 6, verses 1 to 4. That is Matthew 6, verses 1 to 4. I titled today's short devotional, Examine Your Motives When You Give. Examine Your Motives When You Give. This is a Sermon on the Mount. Jesus is talking with his disciples. We know that from Matthew 5, verses 1 to 2. And this is what he says to them. Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them. For then you will have no reward from your Father who is in heaven. Thus, when you give to the needy, sound no trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may be praised by others. Truly I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. God always blesses the reading of his word. For our devotional last week, we talked about fasting, and the week before, we talked about prayer. And I addressed how Jesus doesn't say, if you pray, or if you fast. Jesus says, when you pray, and when you fast, implying that his followers will pray and will fast. Well, here in verse 2 and in verse 3, Jesus doesn't say, if you give He says, when you give, assuming that we will give as followers of Christ. Verse 2 says, thus, when you give to the needy, sound no trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may be praised by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. The word hypocrite originally referred to a person in a Greek or Roman theater who played actor. Ancient drama actors did not wear makeup, so they would wear a mask. The actor would put on a mask and pretend to be something that he was not when performing. Well, this gives us a very clear picture of a hypocrite, as a hypocrite is someone who is pretending to be something that they are not. And in this passage, the hypocrites that Jesus is referring to are playing actor spiritually. They were pretending to be something that they were not. They were giving to the needy, which is a good thing to do, although they were doing it for all the wrong reasons. They were looking for the praise of men. They wanted to draw attention to themselves. Look how spiritual I am. Jesus says, truly I say to you, they have received their reward. The attention that they get from men, that's their only reward. One way to make sure that our motives are not selfish is by giving in secret. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. When we do good works, we constantly need to come back and examine our motives on why we are doing them in the first place. Whether it is fasting, praying, or giving, examining our motives is something that we will constantly need to come back to. Our goal should be to please our Heavenly Father instead of looking for the approval of men. If we seek the approval that comes from man, that will be our only reward. We must not wear a mask when it comes to our faith. God doesn't want us to be pretenders, pretending to be something that we are not. For next week, we are going to start our short devotionals by going through the book of James. I'm pretty excited about that. And I just want to close here with a passage from 2 Corinthians chapter 9, and verse 7. Each one must give as he has decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. May God bless each and every single one of you, and let us continue to exchange prayers daily.